Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to the channel. We've got the DHC4 Caribou. It's a lot of fun, guys. We're going to do a basic tutorial today. We're going to open the cargo doors. We are going to turn the engines on, the propellers, if you will, and start this thing up, get it up in the air, and just show you, you know, a few of the features of it so that you can at least operate it. So uh, without further ado, let's get right to the point. We're going to first go into the master engine switch. So you're going to hit that on. Next, you're going to turn the battery on, okay? Now, I'm going to start both of these engines simultaneously. You can do one or the other if you would like. I'm going to do them both. So you're going to turn the mixture to 100%. You are then going to go to the propellers, turn both of those to 100%. There you go. That's done. Right after that, you're going to go north of that to the magnetos. You're going to put both the right and left magneto to both, okay? Next, you're going to scroll down. You're going to go to the fuel boost, both left fuel boost and right fuel boost. You're going to turn those to normal. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see a starter engine. Now, just I'm going to hit it to the left. The left engine is going to start, as you can see. looks great. The starter will automatically go to the middle, just as it just did. You will then take that to the right, and that's going to start the right engine. So it looks for a beautiful effect, guys. Works great. Um, the next step is you're going to go turn the fuel boosts back to uh, off, both of them. And then you're essentially ready to rock. Now, in terms of the, uh, the, cargo, the cargo doors in the back, let's take a look at how to open those because there's a few, uh, few settings here. So you're going to want to go back here. You can also, by the way, open this door here. This is the cockpit door, they call it. You can open that up if you would like. I think it's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and open that so that we can see uh, the cargo uh, door open. Hold on one second. Let's get that open. So then you're going to go to the cargo door master. That basically gives you power to open the cargo door. Then you're going to open the ramp. As you can see, the bottom blue part right there is, uh, is opening up. And then uh, the cargo door itself, that's the switch for that. So you're going to want to open that. Now, um, as you can see, they're both opening. They open slow as it's very realistic. So I like that uh, component of it. Uh, the bottom door, if you will, the bottom part of the door is a platform for uh, people to jump out like a skydive, which is what a main f feature of this plane was at the time. So you're going to want to basically override uh, the 15% um, governor there, if you will, and that bottom part of the cargo door, once you override that, um, it's going to come all the way down. So uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. Overridden. So it moves slow, but as you can see, the, uh, the bottom door is coming all the way open. So it's a really cool feature. This plane's turning out to be really cool. It was $15 to buy. To be honest with you, I thought it was going to be free, part of the New Zealand update. I honest to God. Thought it was going to be free because we got a lot of free planes for the 40th anniversary uh, a few months back. So I didn't realize this was going to be a charge. Um, if it has to be like that, I, I think they should give us some free planes every once in a while. But that's just my opinion. If you were going to buy a plane, this one has a lot of value, guys. So uh, I want to note that this plane does have reverse thrust. It just doesn't work very efficiently. Um, I think it slows the plane down well. But in terms of moving the plane backwards, I just use the pushback. Um, that works best for me. As you can see, I'm using it right now. Pushback works best for me. Uh, reverse thrust is just weak on this particular one. It only goes 25%. So uh, let's go ahead and taxi. Now, this is a short takeoff and landing uh, airplane. So it was built to take off extremely short distances. And when you lower the flaps, it, it actually does that pretty well. So uh, this basic, this is a great utility plane. It'll take off from anywhere, uh, multiple terrains. It's just a, uh, it's a really cool plane, guys. It's basically, it looks like a little brother of the C-130, to be honest. It reminds me a lot of the C-130. It's just a lot smaller. Um, but uh, let's get ready to go now. 
When you get ready to take off, this is very important. We're going to go back into the cockpit here. When you go to take off, make sure to uh, take the cursor up to the middle. You're going to see gust lock. You have to unlock that or your aircraft won't achieve maximum power for takeoff. Uh, so that's like a governor. I don't know if that's just for taxiing, but that's a governor to not, not let you uh, exceed like 35% power. So you're going to drop the flaps and you're gone, guys. Uh, I want you to listen to the aircraft and then when we land, I'll show you how to basically turn it off the way I do at least. But let's listen to this aircraft uh, fly. And by the way, I'm going to fly over some water in New Zealand. New Zealand's upgraded recently and it looks, you can't even tell it's a video game anymore, man. Looks really good. So uh, we'll meet you on the ground here shortly and go from there. All right, guys, so we're back on the ground. I used reverse thrust to stop it. It stops really fast. It lands great, sounds great. I, I, I really like this plane, guys. For $15, I 100% recommend it. It's a lot of fun. There's nothing like it. I guess the only thing in terms of an improvement that I see room for, and Microsoft tends to do this, is you can't open any of the windows. Now, I don't know for a fact that you could open them in the first place, but on the F-18 Super Hornet, you can't open the cockpit. I, I, I have no idea. I mean, passionately speaking, why that is. But you cannot open the cockpit on the F-18. So this is Microsoft, the people that make the game. Anyway, uh, so you're going to turn the uh, mixture to zero, guys. Cut the mixture off, and that will essentially turn off the engines, essentially. Then you can just hit the battery. So uh, there might be a, a technical, more technical way to turn the aircraft off, but that's just what I do uh, for the visual effect. But uh, anyways... Hope you guys got something from this tutorial. Again, this plane's new tonight for $15. I highly recommend it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to make a lot of footage of it. And New Zealand seems to be uh, much improved. So as I always say, guys, make it a great flying day. And uh, we'll talk soon. Later.